Have you ever walked in on your child watching a cartoon only to be shocked by what's actually on screen? You know, it's it's kind of funny how many of us grew up thinking that cartoons were just for kids, right? But the world of animation is a lot more complex than what we actually remember. In fact, there's a whole spectrum of content out there from stuff that's funny or fun and educational to things that are definitely not meant for young eyes. From mature humor, and language to themes of violence and deeper stuff like depression, there's a whole range of content out there that's easily meant for adults. And as parents, it's up to us to navigate through through all of this and make sure that our kids are actually watching stuff that's appropriate for them, even though it's cartoons or animation. But here's the thing, in the world of animation, not every show is as innocent as it might seem at first glance. So why exactly should we be cautious about what our little ones are tuning into? Well, first up, let's talk about adult humor. There are many animations out there that are filled with jokes that are definitely not meant for the playgrounds or kids. A humor that is aimed for adults tackling themes that might go right over our kids' heads. Then there's the whole deal with sexual content. Some shows may be quite tame on this front, while others include stuff that's not exactly PG-rated material. Now, violence is another thing that we've got to consider here. Sure, it's not exclusive to adult animations, and it can be pretty graphic. It's often used to make point about real-world issues, but it's not exactly something that we want our little ones mimicking on the playground. And finally, we've got those deep, heavy themes, animations that deal with topics like depression and existential crisis, stuff that's way beyond our kids need to be dealing with at this point at least, at these ages. So let's break down some specific shows that might raise a red flag for us when it comes to our kids' viewing habits. Now the first one and the most obvious one is South Park. This show doesn't shy away from anything, whether it's politics or pop culture. Expect explicit language, adult humor and controversial topics galore. While us adults might find its unfiltered social commentary hilarious, it's definitely not suitable for little kids. Family Guy is the second one. Mixing absurd humor with nods to adult situations, this show isn't holding back on the sexual jokes either. It's a kind of comedy that's more suited to older audiences. Rick and Morty, combining science fiction with healthy dose of dark comedy. This show dives into some seriously deep philosophical territory at times. But we warned, it's not all fun and games. There's violence and mature themes aplenty, definitely not for the kids. Now this one is something that you may actually know, Bojack Horseman. This series takes a hard look at some pretty heavy stuff from depression to addiction, all wrapped up in a Hollywood satire package. Its emotional depth is what sets it apart, but its content is meant for grown-ups. Big Mouth. Puberty is front and center in this show, tackling sexual themes with humor and honesty. While it might have its educational moments, it's definitely not something you want your kids stumbling up on. So don't be fooled thinking that this show will do birds and bees talk to your kids because it's not gonna do that. And even if it does, it won't do it in a good way. Archer. Picture a spy comedy with a side of sexual innuendos and action-packed adventures. It's this kind of humor that's best appreciated by adults, not the little ones. The Simpsons. Who could forget about those guys? I'm sure that many of us actually grew up with Simpsons and we probably don't remember it as being just for adults, right? Because while the Simpsons has got its fair share of child-friendly humor, this show isn't afraid to tackle some serious topics with a healthy dose of satire. It's a real mixed bag, so it might be worth screening it on episode per episode basis and decide which one is actually suitable for kids. American Dad. Now this one is similar to The Family Guy. This show is all about adult humor and political satire. Definitely not for the younger crowd. Robot Check-In. Parodying pop culture with stop motion animation, this show doesn't hold back on the mature content, including violence and sexual humor. Another one to keep on the adult viewing list instead of on the kids one. Anime. While I've talked about a variety of Western animated shows, it's worth considering anime as well. 
Just like its Western counterparts, anime spans a broad spectrum of genres and themes. Some anime series like Pokemon or the heartwarming films from Studio Ghibli offer wholesome content, perfect for family viewing. But not all anime is created equal when it comes to suitability for children. There are anime series out there that delve into more mature themes, intense violence or explicit content very explicit, which is not suitable for our kids. Many of these shows might be great for grown-ups looking for a laugh, but they're definitely not meant for the little ones. I think it's important for us to make the best choices for our children and keep a watchful eye on what they're actually exposed to. I, I know from my personal experience that I am guilty of this sometimes. Sometimes I don't screen properly and I should. So if they come to you asking to watch a show or you find them already watching one that is not suitable for them, don't lose your cool about it. They don't understand that it's not for kids because they recognize animated shows as something that is intended for kids and they don't realize that some of these shows are made that way intentionally intentionally but the target audience are adults. Now we've also set up some parental controls for our streaming services so they can't access our profiles or any content that's not age appropriate. I highly recommend that you do this for your YouTube as well as Netflix or HBO or whatever else you use as your streaming service. Plus set up parental controls like Famisafe on their devices to ensure that they are only exposed to the suitable content and if anything pops up that is not suitable, you get notified very quickly. I would also recommend doing some research beforehand. Check on parenting review sites or forums to get a sense of show's content and whether it's appropriate for your family. And consider creating a curated list of approved shows with your kids. It can help you if you get them on board with setting boundaries with you together as a family. And this is it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I hope that you find it helpful. And I know that this kind of topic is something that most of us usually overlook, which is more of a reason why I wanted to bring it up today. Now, if you want to check out our app, then I'm going to put a link in the description below. So go to the website, check out Famisafe. You can try it. You can have a free trial for a few days. Try it for yourself. See what's what. Try different features and see whether that fits your family life. Other than that, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.